Ah, is it, it's working. On my desk. Wait, that's not me. Let's up here. And, no, no. Oh God. <laughs> uh, there. working <laughs> so a uh, question from a personal friend they were asking if I use any protein supplements and if uh, if I would endorse any if uh, if I would recommend any I think is is the way to say that uh, I'm not exactly a fitness guru I'm, I'm not someone to take recommendations from really um, and I don't have any protein supplements in my house. I don't have whey protein or, or any animal, other animal product uh, protein or plant protein, no powders or anything like that. Um, but I have been craving chocolate. And so I, I went and did laundry today at the laundromat. And right next door was a mini mart that had these beauties in it. Some... Uh, Robert Irvine's Fit Crunch Cookies and Cream, and Met RX Cookie Crunch, and a hair tie, and so to answer this friend's question, um, I wouldn't recommend or endorse any supplemental protein source. If you want to use them, use them. If they help you with your goals, use them. And move closer to your goals. But uh, otherwise, get something tasty <laughs> that you want to try. I have had whey protein. and it, At least the stuff I had is terrible. So if you have any suggestions for me, let me know. I'm going to do a review here of this beautiful candy bar. Beautiful, you hear me? I've, I've been eating like rice and plain meat for a while. <laughs> on my on my weight loss journey, and so the idea it doesn't really smell candy barry, but uh, let's see, Fit Crunch cookies and cream. It kind of reminds me of um, the tongue of a shoe dipped in some kind of chocolate. But the sugar-free chocolate and diabetic sugar-free chocolate made with stevia or something. Not terrible. I don't get cookies and cream. I eat like chocolate with icing that you wouldn't want on your cake. Um, okay. Let's try the next one. Met RX cookies and cream. Maybe this one's better. Maybe I can like take one bite of each, mix it up a little bit. Oh, I like I like the presentation of this. See, you got you got the layers here. Mmm. Mmm. Or crunchier. It's crunchier. The other one was like boiled shoe leather. This one, it's got kind of a nougaty thing going on. As you can tell, I'm a, I'm a really sophisticated food critic. Nougaty food thing. Mmm, that one's got like a chemical aftertaste that is just... <clears throat> passable for chocolate. Initial flavor is better. Aftertaste not as much. So, um... Okay... Shoe leather, consistent flavor, not really that chemical taste, but it's cookies and cream, kind of. And cookies and cream crunch chemical face. Do what makes you happy. <laughs> Eat your vegetables. <laughs> Hopefully that helps, or at least was entertaining. Have a great night. Thanks for watching. Okay, wait, wait. How do you turn this off? This Jesus. And as a side note, after all of that, uh, I'm still left wanting.
for chocolate. Um, didn't really scratch the sweet tooth, just kind of tasted like death. The struggle goes on. I'm going to be in shape for my wedding. You just wait. Whew, that looks so good. All right, thanks for watching. Bye. And if I may. Here